Carmine Rockland, uh, what's up? Hey, guys. I was wondering if uh, Professor Anthony knew about the Large Hadron Collider being turned on tomorrow and the possibility of uh, black holes being made and uh, eating up the Earth. Ooh, uh, that's the uh, big uh, collider that uh, Dr. Kaku was talking about. Well, what's he saying? Oh. They're turning it on tomorrow, and it could just turn the whole fucking planet into a big black hole and just suck everything in and end our universe as we How know it. How great would that what be? Colliding? How cool would that be? Wait, so there's a possibility of this and they're allowing him to turn it on? Turn on the switch. <laughs> Shut the fuck Flip up. Flip the switch. Who's so got there's a, a possibility and they're still saying, yeah, go ahead, turn it on. Where, where is the collider, Carmine? It's, it's, on the, it's in um, Switzerland. It's like on the border between Switzerland and France. And they're saying that if it does occur, it would take 50 months between the time that these small um, black holes appear and the, and the time that they're large enough to swallow the Earth. And if you do the math, 50 months from now brings us to about November of 2012. And as I'm sure you're well aware, Professor Anthony, about the Mayan prophecies about the end of the world. Uh, no, I'm not too aware of the Mayan prophecies at the end of the world. What exactly? How does this I thing work? I was all for the Spaniards. I was more into Notre Notre Dame. Oh, that's no <laughs> Notre Dame. Nacho <laughs> Cheese Adamus. <laughs> no, I was going with Notre Nacho Libre. Nacho Libre. <laughs> Notre Dame. <laughs> no <laughs> quatrains. <laughs> what the fuck? If we look into his seventh quatrain, <laughs> right. I hate the quatrains. Oh, I know. God. I saw that documentary, and it was um, wait, can, wait. narrated by Orson Welles, and he, he, he one of the biggest hams on the face yeah. of the earth, and it was like. We read the 27th quatrain. Oh, Hister comes to power. One letter off from Hitler. <laughs> Is it? Can we get... uh, that's amazing. How do they know? And you're very entertaining, but uh, before we move on, can oh, we, yes. like, like, you know, give us some info so we can sleep tonight? Is this fucking thing going to... Uh, it's, it, it's certain to kill us all. That's How's all it, I have. Why are they allowing it, this thing to be turned big, on? It's a giant collider. It would take like four years for us to even know that these black yeah, holes. Yes, so I fine. think they'll know right away. <laughs> so why are they giving the okay? When why is this supposed to be turned on? Tomorrow, me? just in case. Tomorrow. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What is the collider doing with atoms? It's testing the Big Bang theory. They take. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. They take an atomic particle and fire it, uh, just about at the speed of light. This thing smacks into something. And uh, then they look at it. What it does it hit? Off. It hits a, a particle that's not supposed to be, uh, be split in half. Like right, right. It's so right. small, nobody's ever split it. So they're splitting subatomic particles. Or yeah. Like that. How do you know yeah. if it's split? Yeah, there's because two of them you now. Go, what you do is Who you the look at it. knows? <laughs> you look at it, you like close one eye, and you kind of screw yeah, your face you up like squint. Popeye. You kind of squint at it. What, how do you not miss? They're right. so small. Who has that kind of aim? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can hit a fucking subatomic particle. I can't hit the toilet without fucking These pissing are <laughs> It is amazing when you think I, about it. As humans, we take way too much for granted. Just stop! We don't need to know what this. They does. thought the same thing was going to happen when they set off the atom bomb. They thought I'm the fine. chain reaction was going to take all the uh, atomic the, particles in yeah. the atmosphere right. and set them on fire and start a big reaction. And yep. they honestly didn't really know nope. until they did it. But since a huge war was going on, they figured, "Fuck it." When I was growing up, <laughs> shot. When, I, get, give when it a shot. I was growing up, and we did the moon landing thing, and they brought stuff back, I'm like, "Why are you should. bringing stuff back <laughs> from the moon?" And assuming it's not going to kill us. Did you see the Andromeda strain? Well, this was before that, though. Yes. You're like, what are you doing? Don't yeah. assume this shit's going to be okay on Earth. And does yeah, insurance sure cover fine. it? <laughs> if they fire it and miss, and it goes through the hood of your car, this rendering it, it inoperable. <laughs> That's, I was in a. When I was in England just now, I, I went to also France and Italy, and I the, everybody in Europe. When you buy eggs at the supermarket, they're just on a shelf next to the cereal. They're just dry goods. They're not in the fridge. It's like an entire multicultural continent of people that are going, yeah, you know, may maybe you get sick, but fuck it. It's not like fucking the big deal? refrigerated? What? No, no eggs are refrigerated anywhere in Europe. Oh, I and they're just going, they, 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 but they have to know it's at least a chance you get, eh, but you know, what? getting sick isn't so bad. Just assuming. Uh, once again, just assuming. Stupid. That's assuming what's going to be, be the end of us. Is we're going to assume something that we shouldn't have assumed. And you know what that happens when you assume? Your mm -hmm. cock sometimes is caught in your zipper, <laughs> and then there's blood on your white slacks, and you have to explain that <laughs> to your fucking stupid hey, wife and to the people who are buying ice cream out of your truck. I don't know. Why is, else did you wear white is, slacks? Is Ted the scientist here to talk about this collider? Because I I, I want to be able to sleep at night, and yeah, Ted see, is an expert on this science thing, and. 
Maybe he's got some info on this. I had to take my collider fire <laughs> to the shop. It was broken. <laughs> Ted's at Ted's Collider Shop. Yes. Hey, uh, Pork Soda makes a great point. So they're going to allow this machine to operate, but you guys can't tell Oriental jokes. What the fuck? Well, I don't know, man. That's scary shit. That science stuff scares me. Well, that's because it's in Switzerland, right? They can do whatever they want in Switzerland. Yeah. Yeah, they're neutral about everything. They're shit. Mm -hmm. They can destroy the whole universe if they want. Is that fine? What kind of freedom they yeah, have? Because they got all the banks. <laughs> My nose is greasy. We don't greasy. want to mess with him. Uh, your nose is what? Fucking greasy. Oh. Ew. Is it from the saline? you ever smell nose grease? From the outside of your nose? Like, yeah, like just the nose? Outside. No, from between your nose meets your face. Oh, oh. That greasy Any area. kind of crease on a body Ew. is just a disgusting uh, place for mm -hmm. buildup. I mean, oils. That's why I like. Grease, it's oils. When huh? they show aliens yeah, on like TV grease. shows and movies, like, um, a Klingon mm -hmm. on uh, a new Klingon on like Next Generation Star Trek or anything like that. You look at their face and they always put like these big ridges and folds. It's like, yeah. how does it? How do they uh, wash their face? They have all kinds of cheese in like there. Like a big fucking <laughs> yeah. Q-tips and they got to go in every fold and there's like ten of them running ridges down their head. Yeah, no. like, how do you wash that? Every Klingon would have like a. He'd be like. Fat guys have towels around their necks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, we're just dabbing at his own. Uh, and he'd stink. Fuck. It would just stink oh, yeah. of head cheese.